Wi-Fi 6 has been here for a while, and we have seen an immense speed boost with the Wi-Fi 6E technology as well. And right now, the Wi-Fi 7 seems to be the future of networking technology. Meet the Archer BE-800 from TP-Link and the Nighthawk Tri-Band, two of the strongest Wi-Fi 7 routers out there. But which one do you think has the strongest network connection? Let's find out. Did you know that 72% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools, and most importantly, expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. When comparing these routers, their designs appear as distinct reflections of their functionalities. The Nighthawk Tri-Band boasts a tower-esque structure, akin to a sci-fi spaceship exuding a futuristic charm. With one 10 gigabyte per second internet port and a 10 gigabyte per second ethernet LAN port, it promises lightning fast connectivity. Additionally, four LAN ports operating at speeds of up to 1000 megabytes per second ensure robust wired connections. The inclusion of a USB 3.0 Type-A port for network storage adds an extra layer of versatility. In contrast, the Archer BE-800 adopts a modern, stylish appearance complemented by a customizable LED screen. This unique feature allows users to personalize their router's aesthetic while also providing useful information. The router offers two 10 gigabyte per second WAN or LAN ports, one of which doubles as an Ethernet or SFP Plus connection. The four 2.5 gigabyte per second LAN ports further enhance high-speed networking capabilities, catering to various demands. Additionally, a USB 3.2 port facilitates convenient sharing and access to stored content. So, judging by the overall design, we found the Archer BE-800 pretty attractive. Its modern style, customizable LED screen, and high-speed connectivity options, including the 2.5 GB per second LAN ports, make it a seamless fit for the aesthetics and functionality demands of a smart home environment. This design balance ensures that Archer BE-800 not only complements the home's look, but also caters to its high-speed networking needs. Now, the overall speed and area coverage on both these routers are pretty huge. If we look at the Nighthawk Tri-Band first, it boasts an impressive capability to handle up to 200 simultaneous smart home devices making it an ideal choice for homes with a multitude of connected gadgets. Its coverage is equally notable, capable of blanketing an area of 3,500 square feet. With a blazing 18.7 gigabyte per second Wi-Fi speed, this router ensures seamless connectivity for a multitude of devices across a substantial area. On the other hand, the Archer BE-800 shines with its remarkable 19 gigabyte per second Wi-Fi speed offering a strong and consistent connection for various tasks. While it may accommodate slightly fewer simultaneous client devices, the ability to handle over 100 connections is no small feat. This router is well suited for homes that prioritize a blend of high-speed performance and a substantial number of connected devices. Imagine a smart home scenario where numerous devices, from smart TVs to security cameras, smart thermostats and voice assistants, all rely on a single router. In this context, the Nighthawk Tri-Band might excel in a larger household with a wide coverage area accommodating a diverse array of devices. But the Archer BE-800 could prove ideal for a moderately sized smart home, where its remarkable speed and capacity to manage a substantial number of devices ensure smooth operations across multiple rooms. As for the security features, the Netgear's Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 router and the TP-Link's Archer BE-800 present robust offerings, each tailored to safeguard the diverse needs of modern households. The Nighthawk Tri-Band router is equipped with Netgear Armor, a comprehensive shield of protection that spans various devices, encompassing phones, laptops, smart TVs, security cameras, and more. Alongside this, you could also choose the 24-7 Netgear Pro support with a yearly subscription that ensures responsive assistance. This router also prioritizes encryption, 
supporting WPA, WPA2, and WPA3, with both 128-bit AES and the latest 256-bit GCMP encryption methods. In contrast, the Archer BE800 features TP-Link Home Shield, a suite of security tools that cover multiple dimensions of protection. The Home Network Scanner identifies potential vulnerabilities, while Parental Controls offers essential content filtering. And just like TP-Link, this one also offers a premium subscription to their own secured Home Shield Pro, further enhances security with DDoS attack prevention, IoT device protection, and advanced parental controls, catering to evolving threats and smart home demands. But these routers also prioritize smart home security. The Nighthawk router boasts Netgear armor protection with an optional Pro Support subscription, while the Archer BE800 showcases TP-Link Home Shield's features like the Home Network Scanner and Parental Controls, along with the option for a Home Shield Pro subscription that provides advanced security. Regardless of which router you go for, both of them are equipped with tough security systems. And if you are worried about dead zones in your house, then don't worry. Both these routers are compatible with mesh network setups, so you will be able to create a strong and reliable Wi-Fi network that blankets your entire home. Now before we jump to a conclusion, let us first take a look at the price tag of both these Wi-Fi 7 routers. The Nighthawk Tri-Band from Netgear costs $699, while the TP-Link's Archer BE800 costs $100 less. So overall, if we look at the price and performance, the Archer BE800 definitely seems worth the value. Appealing design coupled with modern home features, it definitely brings a lot to the table. So which one do you think is the best for you? Let us know in the comments.